let's get started. Now to hold the tuba, first when you take it out of your case, you want to avoid grabbing these tuning slides because they move and they can come out. And you don't want to do that because it's easily drop your tuba when you do that. Your, your left hand, you want to hold somewhere here over here on the left side of the tuba where you can find a nice balance. And then you're just going to have to see where that balance is for you. And then when you take your mouthpiece out, you want to put it in and get what we call a friction lock. So put it in and give it a little turn. It'll be nice and tight in there. If it gets stuck, make sure you tell your director. Do not use any tools at home to work on anything on your musical instrument. Tell your director or take it to a repair shop at a music store to get that done. Now your right hand, if you have a thumb ring, you're going to put it in like this. And you may have a, a support bar if you have top action valves like this. I'll have a thumb ring, so you want to put your hand in like this, and you want to keep your hand more extended. You don't want to, you don't want to bunch it up like this and try to move it. Keep it nice and extended. And you want to pop the valves down quickly and let the spring pop them back up. You don't want to let them up slowly with your fingers like this, because it'll cause you to miss this lot of notes. Now, with the tuba, it's very easy to angle yourself and try to fit the tuba. Well, you don't want to do that. You want to sit up nice and straight with your face forward, and then you angle the tuba to fit you. Now, I, you may, I hold it in my lap, and I use my legs to make it higher or lower so it can suit me. You know, sometimes you may be able to set it on the chair. This chair won't work, but set it on the chair and reach it fine. But you always make sure that you sit up straight and that you angle the tuba however you need to to fit you. And you'll be much more successful. And you're ready to go. Thank <laughs> you.